I'm Jake Telford from Caldwell, Idaho, and we're watching a video of the Open Two Rain Finals um, at the NRCHA World Show, San Angelo, Texas. The horse I'm showing is Nabisco Roan. Um, I've had quite a bit of success with him all year long, have a lot of confidence in him, and uh, I guess I was looking forward to show this, showing this horse in the finals. Some of my show strategies uh, when showing a horse is I keep in mind I try to do what my horse does best. I don't try to pay too much attention to what other people have marked ahead of me or behind me. Uh, I just want to do the best I can and show my horse's strong suits and kind of cover up any weaknesses that they may have. Person gets uh, trying to do things that your horse isn't comfortable doing or not capable of doing, your score can slide downhill in a big hurry. Uh, my first set of circles, this horse runs circles really well, he can run them around there pretty smooth and fast, he slows down well, he's a good changer, uh, so I try to try to show that off here. He, he slows down really nice, lopes a nice small slow circle, changes leads easily. When I come around the ends, I usually uh, always try to look for cleaner dirt. This horse drew early, so there was a lot of places to pick from, but I think you can help those horses out. Uh, in our events where you do the fence work directly after your rain work, they keep that ground a little deeper, a little heavier. It's not as easy to stop, and you can help those horses out by picking some good, clean ground for them to stop in. His stop was good. He's a little fidgety. After that stop, I didn't really care for that, but I'm just going to try to sit and wait and make sure he's comfortable before I start that spin. The spin was okay. I would have liked him to stay just a little bit steppier, but uh, it was acceptable. Lopes off nice, good controlled rundown, built a little speed. The stop was good. This pen in San Angelo is such a long pen, you really got to pay attention to control your speed so that you have the ability to gain all the way to your stop. Shorter pens, you're going to gain a little quicker. Uh, longer pens, you've got to be really aware that you control that speed because it's a long ways to that other end. Last stop was very good. Backup was very good. When I call for my cow, I'm always lined up with the center gate and I leave a little distance there, you know, to see what kind of cow I've got. A lot of these cattle that come in at San Angelo were pretty wild and would try your horse, so you need a little room uh, to give ground and, and to be able to hold a tough cow. This cow that comes in is actually a pretty tough cow. Uh, my horse is holding this cow well, hitting the end stops good. Um, at this point where it was a finals, I went with maybe a little more cow than I should have. I have a lot of confidence in this horse and it is the finals, so I left, made the decision to leave with a little more cow than I probably would have if it had been a preliminary or a horse that I was not as confident in. Um, the horse really handled the first turn well. That cow just shot over his hip. He rolled all the way around there, gathered him up well. Um, I had to loop, but it was such a tight, fast loop, and that cow created the loop, not my horse, by being late. I don't feel that I lost any credit by looping there. My horse shapes it up good. When I run to this second turn, this cow, I could tell it wasn't going to head very well. It didn't head very well the first time. My horse allows me to move a little wider and a little farther by that cow. You can see how far by that cow I go. To, to create that turn, and man, he just shoots over my horse's hip. This was a, a really a lot tougher cow than I thought it was going to be in the beginning. Um, the horse handled the second turn well for the situation. Um, 
and gathers him up in the circles here pretty well. Uh, might call me a chicken, but I go to the saddle horn and I want to be able to use my legs and my free hand a little better. I know I can do it without the saddle horn, but in this situation I don't want to take any chances and I feel like that I can be smoother and more controlled with my left hand and use my feet better by having that saddle horn. Finish up the run good. Uh, I don't have any complaints about that run right there. My horse handled a really tough cow and uh, everything worked out good. World champion, yay.